How you doing everybody? We're gonna go out today and harvest some bamboo shoots for food. This is, and here it is, what is it, mid-April? Not quite in the middle of April yet. Mm -hmm. And I have no food coming from my garden. I have a few things I've started and in a few months I'll get some food, but this time of year, right here's the only food I can really get off my land. So that's something to think about, early time. Now, if you look down here, you'll see some shoots coming up along my driveway. Okay, and I don't want them coming up right next to the driveway, and I keep them back two or three feet. And so this becomes a zone where I can harvest food. And that's how I keep it from spreading into this area, because I do this once, and I'll cut down. I use a shovel, and I get down maybe an inch below where it's coming out of the ground, and, and I get, now that one I should have showed you. Knows, that one has the, chop, the top chewed off, <laughs> and that's where a deer came along and sampled my bamboo shoot and decided it was a little too bitter and walked on. <laughs> so they don't really bother them too much. And we can still eat that. It didn't even get into the actual shoot. All right, so I'm just going to walk along here. Now there's one coming up. But see, that's, that could be bigger. Okay, this one's up about maybe four inches. But I'd rather it be up about six or seven inches. And, and then, then I, get, I get a bigger shoot that way. So I'm going to let this one here. I'll get this in a couple days. And I'll skip some of these. But now this one, this one actually went a little further than I'd like because it's about a foot long or more. As they get bigger, are they less tender or yeah, less what, tasty? What happens? Well, what's gonna happen, you'll see when I cut this open. In a shoot, all the nodes, these things right here, the nodes, they're all in the shoot, but they're oh, all wow. crammed real close together. Oh. Okay, but all the nodes that it's ever gonna have, it's in the shoot right now. Like a telescope. Or like and a... then they telescope out as wow. it grows, right. And so what's happening right now is the, these lower ones are starting to telescope out. And as they do, it gets a little woodier. Ah. It's, and it's not quite so soft and edible, you know? Okay. So uh, I'll show you how, what I save and what I discard, you know, when we get into that. And I'll take that one. And it's easy, you know, just one chop of the shovel. You got it. And I don't want these growing right next to the roadway, so this will do the job. This will keep them back. And see, it's gonna, it's doing its shooting right now. This, this variety, this is Philostachys besetii, real cold tolerant. This will only do this for about two, maybe three weeks. It'll put up shoots. And so I don't have to do this for very long. And, and then this will stay open the rest mm -hmm. of the summer. I don't have to worry about more coming up in June or July or anything like that. Nice. So now see, now these here, they're back far enough. And I'll have some more coverage from the road. So I'm going to let those grow. Those are going full size. There's another. I'm going to let all these grow. Uh -huh. Because you're missing a spot of bamboo like right here. Yeah, so this well, will give I mean, you... Originally, I didn't have it out here. It escaped yeah. from the, the enclosure. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to let it fill in this whole area. And I just don't want it going out toward the road or toward my driveway. And this is how I keep it from doing that. Uh -huh. So now we're going to walk out to the road where there's some more coming up. So this is part plant maintenance, making sure your bamboo grove is growing where you want it and you're harvesting food at the same time. Exactly. Now look at all these out here. But see, these are right next to the county road. Oh, right. And now here's some right here. Now see, I don't want these coming out real far. Like here's some coming up. I don't know. I might let those two grow. That's about as far out as I want it to come. So once you pull that out, this thing can't put up another one in that spot. That's right. Not till next year. It, it might try again, but yeah, not even. It won't even next year in that exact spot. Because it's be, run. It's putting a runner and. Yeah, there might be different buds along that rhizome. Oh, okay. And each year it might try this one or try that one or. Here's Bassettii. Has a. It's pretty. You know, it's green. It's got stripes. This is the sheathing that protects the shoot, and this is Philostachys Oreo sulcata. And this is one of the first two bamboos we imported to America. Look how look at all the pretty coloration on this. Mm -hmm. They're real pretty shoots. These are one of my favorites for eating. They taste real good. They're all good, but I, I don't know. I kind of like them best. There's the Oreo Sucata. And notice these are real similar. Maybe not as much red in the, in the sheathing. And this bamboo is a cousin of that bamboo, I guess you'd call it. This is Oreo... Philostachys Oreo Sulcata Flavescens Inversa. And <laughs> what that means that? is the coloration is reversed. Mm. Oreo Sulcata is also called Yellow Groove. Right. It has a green cane 
and a yellow stripe down in the little sulcus, they call it the groove in the, in the cane. This is the opposite. It's a yellow one with a green stripe. Uh -huh. But they're the same species except for that variation. And you can see that the shoots do look a little different, <laughs> but not much. Does the, um, the yellow groove have that crook in it? See how some of them have that yes. crook? Yeah, that does is, that. Is that a feature of that yellow groove? Uh, yeah. Or of that? And there's a few other bamboos that do that. It. Flexuosa, I think, does that one too. Uh, yeah, was, <laughs> when I first planted that stuff, I didn't know about that. Yeah, I looks, didn't know about the crooked cane thing. It looks like thing. something's wrong. But. Well, I, what happened is they were, I had just planted it the year before, I guess, and now it's the next year and it's sending up some new shoots. I was excited. All right, this is starting to fill in. And they were about this tall. And I had a big dog, not, not Petey, a different dog at that time. And I went out to, to check on the, how the bamboo was looking. And a whole bunch of those canes were laid like at a 90 degree angle. And I thought, oh man, the dog ran through there and knocked them over. They're not going to make it, you know. And, and I, I went back a day or two later and those same ones had now, now they were bent this way. And then hmm. they eventually grew up straight. And so they'll do this little zigzag down near the base. And, and they don't all do it. That's like in the early stages of a grove. Because I've noticed now that the grove is real mature, it's putting up fatter, bigger canes. And, and they, they don't do that as, I don't see that so much. But in the beginning, I saw it a lot. All right, here's what we do. We'll just pull out a chute here. And what you do is you uh, cut it right down the middle, lengthwise. Okay, and you open it up like a book. And now there's what I was talking about. You see all those little divide, divides there? Mm -hmm. That's a new, that's a future node. Uh, and they're all gonna spread out. This, this is a good shoot here, uh, I'll tell you why. Okay, here's how I get them out. I get up here to the top. See, this is, there's lots of, look at that, lots of layers of protection over this shoot. All those different uh, layers, see? Uh -huh. So I try to get down and find right where the shoot in the, in the last layer is and get my thumb under it and slide it out. Okay, there's another one. Now, sometimes the tip will break off. We'll save that and use it. Okay, now, once you've done that, you want to look at two different things. One, I notice how far these are spaced. When I look at it from this side, I would say this whole thing's edible. I, I'm going to save the whole thing. But when I flip it over, I see that this, with all these little red spots, this is getting very woody right here. In fact, even when you start getting this dark green, the shoot is getting pretty woody. Okay, see mm -hmm. how that, okay, so I, I just kind of make a guess. It looks like I could eat the whole thing, but you don't want, it's gonna to be too woody here. You can see it's really hard on a knife. So I got to about there. Mm -hmm. That's discarded, that's food. Mm -hmm. Okay, the tip that broke off and that, and yeah, I'm keeping that for food. All right, let's do a couple more. it up. Okay, now on this one, you can see that they're real close together here. That's going to be tender eating right there. Starting to spread out. That's okay. I, when it gets to be, I don't know, closer to a half inch apart, that's when I, I know it's getting real woody. But I'll bet if I pull these out, it's going to, this is going to be woody looking from the other side. I, I use both sides to make my judgment call. See, and a lot of green, a lot of green on there and, and all those spots. I don't, I don't want any of that for sure. And that felt real hard when I cut through it. So I'm gonna come up here with that green. Now that felt softer, so. It's kind of like an, the bottom of an asparagus. If you were to cook that and eat it, it's all stringy and hard and yucky. Right, right. Okay. It's not gonna hurt you, but it's but not it's as just... nice to eat. Right. Okay, and there I'm gonna go more off the green. And, and you can tell when you make the cut mm -hmm. if you chose the right spot or not. You know, if it, if it, if it goes through real easy, it's like, okay, that's good. If, if it resists you quite a bit, it's like, eh, maybe I wanna go up another notch or two because it's kind of woody cut a little bit more off. What you do from this point on is you take these and you put them in a, a pot of water and you boil, have that water on a good boil for a half hour. Now this is my way of doing it. You know, you're gonna, on this particular thing, you're gonna see a lot of different opinions that people have about this. Some people say you need to do two different, you know, throw the first water away, then do it again, throw that water away. Some people say even three boilings and I, I, I've done this for a long time, okay? I've never been sick or stomach ache or anything from my bamboo shoots. And I do that, I boil them for a half hour, I throw that water away, and now I consider those shoots ready to be used. And you can use them immediately in a stir fry or put them in a soup or 
you know, whatever, in a fresh salad, you could eat them even, whatever. Uh, or you can do this, you can dry them. So I take those same shoots and they turn a nice little golden color. And this is completely crispy dry. You hear it snap. Okay, so I save those and throughout the year, when, when I don't have fresh shoots, I can pull them out and I soak them overnight in some water in the refrigerator and they they turn back into you know flexible shoots they they don't even look so brown they, they get back toward the white color and you can hardly tell them from fresh <laughs>